In volleyball, there are circumstances that a player can create an action without even thinking. In this video, I am showcasing a one-hand key. This is a defensive move in volleyball that helps a team to continue the rally. By doing so, we can definitely say that this movement emerges without even thinking. It does not require the brain to create an action. That is reflex theory. This theory accurately provides a degree of freedom to perform movement in multiple ways to achieve the same goal. Serving is the best example of it. In serving, it moves through different phases, meaning to say, it is a step-by-step -step procedure to achieve common object. Initially, when serving, the movement will look very uncoordinated. This is because we freeze the degrees of freedom. In other words, we do not let the movement to experience the full range of motion. Eventually, with practice, we begin to unfreeze the degrees of freedom and the movement starts to look more coordinated. That is dynamic system theory. In this theory, the movements in volleyball are controlled by a system consisting three levels with a rigid top-down organization, namely pre level, projection level, and segment level. pre level is the highest level that consists of cerebellum that maintain posture and balance. The projection system is the middle level that comprises motor cortex and brainstem that involve planning, controlling, and execution of movement. Lastly, the lowest level, also known as the segmental level, which is the spinal cord, which carry nerve signals from the brain to the body. This theory setting is applicable because it is more in conceptualizing and organizing. This is a set of movements stored in the long-term memory which specify the components of a skill. They are developed through well-guided and well-informed practice over a long period of time. It controls the movement using images but no feedback is needed since the movement is automatically controlled by an open loop control. This is the most important motor control theories. The ecological theory explains how human development is influenced by different types of environmental system. This means that the human can actively extract information from the environment that they use to guide their deliberations regarding on how to act next. Moreover, the person, task, and the environment interact to achieve and influence motor behavior and motor learning. The environment makes available resources, opportunities, and information for action. There are five different environmental systems, namely micro, meso, exo, macro, and chrono system. That is ecological theory.